Hi, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm out in the local woodland today um, and I'm here to test out and have my first sort of proper look at the Castrum Woodsman K720. Now, this is a knife been designed by Roger Harrington and then manufactured by Castrum. So, you know, it's, it's from good breeding stock. It comes with, this particular one I purchased comes with um, curly birch liners, uh, sorry, curly birch scales with black micarta liners. It's a 4 mil thick blade, uh, made from 02 grade K720 tool steel. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of good things about it. I'm going to get a coffee on, and I'm going to come back to you, and we can do a little bit of testing, some feather sticks and some different bits and pieces, and see how, see how it performs. Okay, so although Castrum are a Swedish company um, and Roger Harrington is a, is a British outdoorsman, um, they've decided to come together and collaborate to make the, the Woodsman K720. Now, this is made to Roger Harrington's specification in regards to blade length, um, performance, you know, all the features in regards to the drop point, 4 mil thick blade. Now, the reason I went for a 4 mil thick blade was to add plenty of support and stability for things like batten in and you know different sort of tool like operations like that it's got a basic you know scandy grind exactly what we'd expect to see for for a good quality bushcraft knife okay so total specifications are total blade length uh, sorry total knife length is 205 millimeters um, blade length itself is 88 millimeters blade width is 27 millimeters um, and the thickness, obviously, like we said before, blade thickness is four millimeters. You know, so it's quite a substantial blade for for something only 88 mil long. It's quite a th thick, substantial blade. Can you remember the Corvids? <laughs> Not enjoying me being out this morning. So, uh, first impressions of the knife when it came in the post. Um, the actual knife itself got no faults with it at all. Um, it's what they call a long drop sheath, so it covers you know the majority of the whole knife in the sheath. Very well made. Um, it's been lying there with that additional piece of leather in the middle. Um, the leather itself is probably getting on for for four mil thick as well. You know, so it's something good, substantial sort of veg tan leather. Um, I like the stamp they put in the back for the Castrum emblem. Um, the leather piece at first, I didn't really see much point in it. However, because it's such a long drop sheath, you know, it actually does help to, you know. Balance your thumb on it and pull it out. I like the curly birch handle scales. This one's also available in bog oak, um, and unfortunately, really only able to see sort of smaller pictures of these online. And uh, the curly birch just look far more fetching than the bog oak. Um, really liking the etching on the blade on both sides. We've got Roger Harrington, um, you know, his little mention on this side, and then obviously the Castrum logo. I like the fact that they bothered to put in the, you know, the name of the knife. And the model of it you know, to me that that really kind of finishes it off um, this is a high grade carbon steel um, it's got a low chromium level so this will sort of rust if if left untreated um, however myself personally doesn't really bother me that much you know this is a tool at the end of the day it's not a, a pretty trophy the only downside I would say from receiving this in the in the post um, was actually just uh, the story in the packaging really 
Um, when I received my Heli Egan, looked inside the packaging and there were some beautiful branded sort of leaflets then that gave me some literature and a bit of information as to who Heli are, you know, their lifespan and, you know, how the knives are made, etc., etc. But with this, there was just physically the knife, which is no real issue. That's exactly what I ordered, but it'd have been nice just to have seen a bit of a bit of story and a bit of history about Castrum, because to be honest, they're, they're not a brand I know a lot about, if I'm being honest. Um, so I know they're Swedish made, and I know they've got sort of several knives on the market, uh, probably the most popular being the number 10. Um, the reason I didn't go for the number 10, I went for the Woodsman, is just purely um, this blade length, really. I wanted something which was a bit, you know, a bit shorter and a bit smaller. So the, the number 10 is, is probably somewhere this much bigger um, probably the same sort of size as the the TBS bore um, which again is another knife I looked at um, to be honest there's a couple of things that drove me to, to purchase the Woodsman which was a price point um, I just didn't want to go as far financially as something like the the TBS bore or the um, or the cash room number 10 or anything like that um, and secondly was like I said it was the size you know I like this compact size and shape um, I like the drop point, I like, you know, all the features about this. Um, I was a bit dubious that the spine wouldn't be sharp enough for a ferro rod. However, um, I was quite pleasantly surprised. This did arrive in the post absolutely razor sharp, which again is, is a big plus point to me. So, um, so yeah, enough waffle, let's get on and do some testing. So, in regards to battening, um, I've got a piece of ash here, I believe. You know, it's quite well seasoned. Um, you know, it's just perfect, ready, straight for the fire. So, it's going to be a hard piece of ash. So, let's just try it. Let's see how we get on. Yeah, I mean, it's maybe a bit far gone for firewood, but, um, you know, it's still got its, a lot of its strength retention there. As you can see, no real mega effort required. Um, actually, I believe this is a piece of beach. So, let's see what this is like in regards to getting some nice, clean sort of feathers. This wood's a bit far gone. Let's see if we can find something else for you. A bit more life left in it. And so far though, to be honest, I'm genuinely impressed with the knife. Like I said to you, my only real concern getting this knife straight out of the box is the um, you know the back of the spine not being sharp enough for you know for um Ferro Rob, but I've been proven wrong on that one already, so I'm, I'm actually quite happy. So
Okay, so um, first impressions of the Castrum Woodsman K720R are really positive. Um, shown itself to be quite a substantial blade, um, quite durable. It's also shown itself to be very bloody sharp um, and a good little carver um, as well. So I'm quite happy. Um, I was always second guessing myself with the idea of going for a slightly smaller um, blade. However, um, yeah, I've, I've seen, you know, I feel very happy with it so far. Uh, I think it's going to be something that, you know, it's going to be around for a long time. Um, blades tarnished quite well already in regards to a bit of tree sap, a um, bit of ferro rod action, um, blades taking on quite a nice colour. Um, the sheath I'm really happy with, it's a nice tight fit without being, you know, without being too bad. So um, I'm quite happy with that. Overall I think the build quality, the design, everything about it um, is, is perfect. I think the price point's pretty much bang on as well. Um, price point's not too ridiculous but at the same time you know, it wasn't a cheap knife. Um, that particular knife cost me £102 delivered. Um, so again, I don't think it's necessarily the cheapest thing on the market. However, I was lucky enough to sell a few old items I don't use anymore. Um, and yeah, theoretically that knife actually cost me £20. So I'm really, really chuffed with that. Um, it was a definite upgrade from the Heli Egan. Um, Heli Egan was a fantastic knife for what it was. Blade was a little bit lightweight and it was a rat tail tang. Um, so it went down to a very fine point and then was riveted at the base of the handle. Um, and yeah, in my heart of hearts, I always knew it was going to be um, a bit of a bone of contention in regards to the strength of it. And very quickly I realised that, you know, it was a beautiful knife. Lovely, well made, triple laminated blade um, in stainless as well. However, you know, I, I shouldn't really have bought it, to be honest. Um, so I gave that to Andy for his birthday. Um, I think it'd be perfect for him. It does. He does a lot of camp cooking and stuff like that while we're out. So I think it'd be a good food prep knife for him, especially being stainless as well. Um, so yeah, yeah, all's, all's well. That ends well. Like I said, I'm so far very happy with the castrum. So let's uh, let's watch this space. And thank you very much for joining me. I'm now heading home. Um, so yeah, see you on the next one.